Jonna, are you dumb? Mia, you shorty out of here. You sorry? You not gonna show up for him? Look at him tear. What you doing laid up with him? Y'all giving me another song? I ain't coming to see you, Shauna. We ain't have to do that, RJ. I don't know how this man could ever come back. Dead rappers get better promotions. Are you dumb? This is gonna be stupid if they go with Francois. Chastity got the gift in the car. You saw that? This is family. Why is Lulu here? I don't even like her. Watch your mouth, friend. You can't even look at her. Why are you hiding that car? Ain't no money on it. Chastity, I love this. You miss him? Shut up. I feel like this is a parent and a child conversation. Why are you still alive? Grow up. Shauna, you don't be thinking. Not DD for L. Melissa. Chastity working with Gat? Y'all are suckers. An enemy of my. No. An enemy of my. No, a friend of my enemy is. What? What up, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo with Love with me, your girl Donna Rizzo, as we're here to recap Issa Rae's Rap Shit Season 2, Episode 8. Y'all, this is the finale. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for because I honestly have no idea how this episode is going to end. I don't know how this series is going to end. To me, there's a lot of ups and downs, but I'm like, how are y'all going to pull me in to make me really want this next season? Because last episode, if y'all didn't see that, check that out. I recap that with our girl, Jonica, AKA Chastity, AKA the Duke. We were here. Clearly I'm sitting in the middle, which means my guests, plural, will not be joining me, but we're gonna just roll through with this shit and it's gonna work out anyway. Also, I got my mom shirt on. I feel like I work at Macy's right now, but we gonna get through that. Shout out to Linda. Y'all, okay, so what are we gonna do? The last we left off, Lamont and Mia had a crazy argument like intense where I, I felt like they knew each other they had beef before and I noticed some issues so I'm like did y'all have to dig deep for this talk to me about this y'all so what are we gonna do with them Lamont don't want to work with her anymore me and Shauna still need a producer and Francois is over here like oh I can get y'all on a label and I want to and manage you and all that good stuff. And also remember, I didn't talk about this last time, but Francois was like, oh yeah, I dropped Raina Rain. No, because when we heard about it later in the studio, we heard Courtney say, oh, raina has been fucking with Gat and Gat was like pulling her away. So was that really a choice of his? I don't know, you know I'm like that nigga. And then we got Maurice and Shauna. I don't know what's going on there, but big ups to Shauna for scamming that man yet again, because she was like, no, no, sweetheart. It's okay, take the deal. So I don't have to take anything. And then you know what I didn't do? Because again, I'm a child. One, I sat uh, on the opposite ends of the couch with Jonica. Sorry, Jonica, you know I really love you. I just lazy and I be doing shit like this. But you know what I forgot to comment on? Her arch. Why did God give Jonica an arch like that? That's for a man. To, well, for her to do, for a man. Jonica. I'm gonna follow up with you and figure out where that arch came from. God don't give that to just anybody, okay? All right, y'all, if you do not know me, I am Donna Rizzo. I know I've been rambling on and on here, but y'all, make sure you stick with me. This is a live reaction recap. This isn't like those other recaps you might see. We're not doing a post-show recap. I'm not looking and analyzing folks after the episode has aired. We are literally talking about the episode as I watch. I'm gonna be posting a couple of snippets and clips here so you know what it is I'm referring to, but I'm not gonna be posting the whole episode. If you're here, you saw it already. So there's no need for me to go through this. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this show because y'all know we had to wait 75 days for this to actually come back because of the strike. And now I'm sad that my year is ending without this. Fingers crossed for season three, but without further ado, y'all, let's get into this HBO Max's Rap Shit presented by Issa Rae, season two, episode eight, the finale. Before we get into this, what are my predictions? Okay, so, Shauna and Mia, obviously their back like could crack, so we gotta figure out what their name is because they're gonna continue this music shit. The show is about them being in music, so what are we doing? They're gonna get a name. Jonica kind of spilled that they need a group name, and I took that as they're about to get a group name. I'm worried about the Francois and Chastity thing. She said we wanna see Chastity win, but what does that look like? Chastity fing on girl over here. So she about to do her own thing, and then they're about to do their own thing, and then Lamont's about to do his own thing. Is this becoming a show of like four, three different types of people, right? You got the rapper, you have the producer, and now you have a manager. Are we gonna learn about all different types of people entering into music? I don't know, but I'm interested. Also, fuck Lamont's girl. I know I said I kinda liked her. F that bitch. Sorry, shorty, I don't know you, but whatever. Is Lord AK ever gonna come back? I know he's in a coma. Are we just like done with him? Okay. I'm glad that we haven't seen Cash in a while and I'm okay with not seeing him. Sorry, Darius, I hope you're still on television, but 
I don't want you to be cash to go no more because you a scammer too. And we don't like that. When I was, you know what? I was really thinking about who's the most toxic male on this show because I think we have a great representation of men. Like we have the artist who is toxic, but he is like outwardly toxic, right? He tells you, I ain't trying to fuck with you. I'm doing what I want. That's a different level of toxic. Maurice is the other toxic where he's like, I bang with you, but I'm going to play you in the corner. To me, I think that's worse than the dude who's like, look, I am what I am. I'm putting it right on the table. Here's what it is. Then, of course, you got Lamont, who's like a great baby daddy, but he's also messing with your friend, kind of your friend, but somebody like close to you, which I don't know I can f with. And then Courtney, Courtney wasn't my good graces until last episode when I realized that he actually called Mia there to be messy. That's some shit, y'all. Courtney, what are you doing? We liked you. How did you get here and why are you acting like this? So who's the most toxic? I don't know. It's crazy because y'all might say cash, but I'm taking cash out. I might say Maurice's. You recorded me. You almost put me in jail for shit that you and I did together. I don't like that. So yeah, we could... We could start a new, or y'all could all go to therapy and stay, because I don't want to take a black man's job. But come back next season with a little more oomph in you, okay? Let's go. And here we go. We start off with this here. First of all, remove that Malcolm X in you, okay? Take this shit out. I don't need the glasses. I don't need this. Get away from the window. Fuck you, get. You can never come back. Yo, dead ass, sometimes I see him on a rap shit post, and they're like asking him regular questions like, oh, what's in your trailer? And I'm like, Fuck this nigga. I don't know how this man could ever come back for me in any show. I don't know if you in something else, but I don't want to see it. Unlearn this uh, toxic masculinity that's been passed. Shut up. Hey, Wallow. Also, shut up. This is why I hate podcasts. Ignore the fact that I'm doing one right now. Fuck these n****s, y'all. Let's leave that in 2023. No more men, women, philosophy. You know what we left in 22 was the, what is that called? Grand Rising. Lord Jesus, we left a good Grand Rising in 22. For some reason, we came back with a shit in 23. Let's leave that, all of that. Let's close it out. Leave it in 23 and never see this again. Also, close this man out. I don't want to see him again. You know why also he's trash? Because you ain't got no style. Look at you. He was like, Oh, I have to dress up and look nice. Oh, I got a white shirt and a black tie. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look like a doorman. Oh, by the way, congratulations on that. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Woof, look at Jungle over honestly, here. Honestly, losing one friend, almost losing another. Oh, I just I really thought, felt like that. I thought we lost. Oh. This is how these things be. You know what? I can't even say nothing because I don't really want to talk about some of our black music executives right now or pastors, but this is what's be going on, y'all. You have these people all up in front of the camera talking about something else, and behind the scenes, they spraying champagne on to go a man in the back. We got a lot more in common than we have in other This is 30 seconds too long, Issa. Get him off my screen. I'm sorry, man. Just give me a second. Um, oh my God. Okay, okay. Intros. You know, I love this. I didn't really talk about that last intro too much because I was so excited and also a little alarmed to see all the penises, even in like the trans, all the over there. But what is this giving me? This is like a culmination of all of them. Shauna and Mia, you know, because this is going to tell us everything that's happening right now. They have chains on. I don't know how I feel. Oh, this is giving me the young money because you see like the bling bling. Okay. Shauna and Mia over there. What's that? Again, it's giving me a little mahogany. But it says, something strong, beautiful black queens. See, mahogany, me and Shauna, what is this? Why have I seen this before? Also, they keep reiterating the queens thing. Queens, brave, unapologetic. Their name about to be something queens? Cause I really want to just call them the city girls, but we gonna figure it out. What is that? Well, you see the cross and it has the like halo effect. It's real spiritual, some neo, that's what it probably is. It's it giving me India Ari and Jill Scott, strippers. Oh my God, this is a lot. They in jail? Are they both going to jail? Inmate Shauna, inmate Mia, DOC. What's that date? Oh no, that's their thing. What is this? Oh, but I also see whoever did this is from LA, right? Y'all did Lakers colors? Okay. Ignore that. Y'all just wanted to start off with the two worst I got and then him? So quickly how we can fall from grace. Did you notice they have a bit more cohesion? And I don't know if this is Francois because I don't want to give him his flowers, but they're both wearing diesel. They're like, hey, we're in a group. We're going to look like we're in a group, even though it's different styles, right? Mine is a little more sexy. I got the white boots, two piece. I'm still going to show you that I'm with her. You're going to be like, oh, those are the two girls in diesel. They must be together. I hate you, Francois, if you plan that. 
Me and my baby daddy. Mia, didn't we talk about getting her some training right now? Because when she spoke to that rep last time, that wasn't it. Francois, I gave you your flowers a little bit. Speed this the up, okay? Like, oh, and baby. they both got the the, thigh, the knee yeah. highs. Uh, Shauna, this is your yeah, time yeah. to nudge her and say, nah, you can stop. Chicken, you know, who came first? Chicken. Let me get this right. Y'all was over there. They gonna make a song about this? Y'all, so we're continuing with the old 70s theme. Why is there a lava lamp in the back, y'all? And they had the little globe that you tell, it looked like, Spencer's, what are you doing? What's going on in your world? I'm about to go to jail. Yeah, what's going on in Scam Town? Scam Town. Wow, Scam Town. Tell him. Yeah. Francois is still managing them as if he's managing Reyna. You don't need to show like, oh, look how black she is. She's a scammer. Oh, look how black she is. She got baby daddy issues. You don't have to do all that. Can we just have a conversation about us artists and the music? In the words of Janica, Chastity would never. We're gonna get a mug shot. That's what the mug shots were. He's the worst, y'all. I don't think that's the type of smash and grab people really wanna see them do. So Am I about to agree with party? <laughs> y'all giving me another song before you leave? Is this pressing red? What flow is that? What song is that that I know? I need to see the rest of that. Also, shout out to Ice Spice. I'm not doing nothing Francois talking about. No. Shauna, your makeup look good. Courtney was talking about it too. They said they're trying to push his album up. That makes sense though. They're like, now that he got the hype, even if it's bad hype, we gonna push his album up because people are talking about him. Is that is that Jada Kiss? Who said dead rappers get better promotion? That's Jada Kiss or Sheik, somebody. They said they was trying to make our song a single. What song? <laughs> Not with Reyna. Congratulations! Leo. Oh, the song that she <laughs> did with Courtney? Yikes. You saw how excited she was? She's talking about the song that Mia was featured on. And I was wondering about this because you know this is kind of like loosely, very loosely based off of the City Girls. And there was a moment where JT was in jail and she said um, Young Miami was doing all these features and she was doing features and it would say as the City Girls. And then one time she did a feature and it said featuring Young Miami. And JT was in jail like, I thought we were in this. Like, maybe she's not holding us down like I thought. And see, that's why Shauna, you need to move as a group. Don't move as a solo artist. Now you missed out. You know what this is also giving me? I don't know why I'm a fucking fun fact of history of music and black people. Do y'all know Seven Streeter used to be in a group? Y'all know that, right? Like she, I don't even know what the name of the group was, which <laughs> is gonna tell you something when I tell you the story. Seven Streeter was in a group and they were doing something. I don't know if they were at some party, something with Chris Brown. And it was late at night and someone in Chris Brown's team went back and told the group like, hey, we're going to the studio. Do you guys want to come? The other girls in the group were like, no, we're tired. And Seven was like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Seven left those girls, went to the studio, wound up getting featured and writing on Chris Brown's album and now stayed top of mind for him for his next album. So she branched off of those people because she said, yes, this is an opportunity. I'm not gonna miss it, Shauna. I'm not gonna go talk to Prison Bay over here because I'm not thinking about my group. Look at you. If Mia launches and does her own thing and people don't know who the Shauna is, also because y'all don't have a group name, it's gonna be your problem. And you're gonna be in jail mad or at home broke mad. You gonna get his name tied on your neck? I hate right this. Here in old English. Question number one, how, how hard y'all riding? <laughs> Cause of like me. Okay, what are we doing? How are we having two different conversations? You move in with Francois in the studio, and then you move in with Chastity over here. This isn't even like I'm weighing my options because you're leading both of them on. But there's no contract yet, so do your thing. And also, loving the colors, costume director. Events. Look at of this, course, so good. You see how Chastity has changed? Money make you change. I told you I call her big money. Money makes you change. Look at her holding that champagne. What is she doing? Chastity ain't never held a sh an actual glass. What do you, no, that's white wine, excuse me. <laughs> Clearly I'm broke. How big is the bag? You know, how much we talking? Me is so real. Well, I'm gonna give us like a range, like a, a ballpark. I'm you not mad at you for asking that. So for instance, we love the stuff you did with that producer, Lamont. We have some ideas <laughs> about doing it. He ain't never working with you again. The main audience is women. Mm -hmm. So we're going to market to them. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you what they need is a song for the lady. Like it's been like the niggas. We need a love song for the ladies too. At the end of the day, all these want love, right? I'm gonna shake my ass. I'm gonna tell you these niggas. But come over a little later. Everything female focused. Yeah. Female manager, female mm. AR, come on. Engineers, transpo, everything. Security. I just think that females should take over the game. Dominate, we should all come as one. This is a pit. Did y'all just see the fist? 
Remember when I threw my fist up last week? Chastity, Jonica looked at me like I was crazy. Sis, you forgot you threw up the fist for no reason when talking about Mia and women too? I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all. What is that sh where like something happened and nobody, everybody remembers it happens, but when you Google it, nobody realize, or it's not in Google? Like that Sinbad movie where he was like a magician. Everybody remembers it, but it never existed. It's the something effect. What the f is that? I'm gonna get back to y'all. Mandela effect. That's what that was. You're welcome. That was deja vu, really. We have I don't know, or the tomorrow, Matrix. So I don't know. I'm gonna <laughs> These are gonna be stupid if they go with Francois. I understand the party connection over there, but listen to Chastity's full laid out pitch. This over here like, we're gonna leak the footage. Y'all are gonna be caricatures of black women in rap. She's like, let's actually build something together with a team of women around you. Stupid. And we always have the money conversation. If this offer here is less money, but more aligned with what you wanna do, are you gonna take this or are you going with the bag? Cause I know Mia might move with the bag. Shauna might move with this, but how y'all gonna compromise? Shauna's makeup artist. Call us. Does Lamont know that you got to order the balloons? And Does Lamont know he coming to the party and collaborating with you? Well, Were those Abdul's ones? In kid size? Hold up. Anything for my birthday, girl. I gotta check that a little closer. If it is, shout out Abdul. Your card was declined. You ain't got no more money? Okay. Otherwise, I gotta take it down. For my baby and I. Can someone else cover it? Nah, out? sis. Sorry. Business is business. I don't care about your baby being in there. I'm losing money right now. You might get 10 more minutes out of me, but I need this money. Go ahead and use that. Come on, scammer. And that's one of the men's. Yeah, your card declined, too. Who? Cool. Well, I don't know what to say to me. Ain't nobody say you have a birthday. <laughs> Damn, that means you gotta ask Lamont. Mmm. Damn. You ain't have to do that, RJ. Can you help me pay for it? Look at this, don't wanna ask. You know you hate when you like upset at somebody and you gotta ask them for something. And she's just like, Ugh, I ain't got no money, can you help me? Like nobody wants to be that low. That's the only reason I work. So I don't gotta ask for shit. My name is men, women, white people, black people, my mother, grand, everybody. Girl, I don't know why you hiding that card. Ain't no money on it. It's when you go and leave it somewhere. Like, oh my God, my last four charges. I don't know what those are. This tear. We didn't close out on this. What you doing laid up with him? Shauna, am I disappointed? I don't know because you scammed him into taking a 50. Is he gonna take it? You miss him? Shut up. Y'all are in a relationship? You better do the three or five so my sins can be reduced. Yeah, come. This nigga just invited her to his family functions. Did I miss when they became real? Also, is Stanley going to be there? Because fuck Stanley. Oh my God, Maurice going to die again? Damn. He love her. Look at him playing in her hair. Stanley hates me. We know. We hate Stanley too, so it's okay. Sis, don't do not not go to your friend's daughter's birthday party. Wait a minute. She said it's his going away party? The girl who scammed with you, who is getting out clean, not going to jail for nothing, is going to come with you to this event? Or is this a setup? They got her. Ooh, this is a setup. And he got his last fuck in before he got in. Mm. Maurice, I don't put it past you though. I just realized this episode is more than 30 minutes. I'm excited. Is it best for y'all or is it best for you? What's the difference? Wait, what? <laughs> Are they about to break up y'all? No, cause that's how we ended last season. What's gonna go on with them? Cause Shauna's still moving and thinking like a solo artist here. She said, what's the difference between me saying it's the best for me or the best for us? Shauna don't respect Mia. She don't really respect her as like a businesswoman, even though Mia is the, she's not the gimmick. Mia is the draw in. Nobody coming to see you, Shauna. Also Maurice, you gotta get a headboard. Come on, we too over it. With the Haitian flag actually just pinned and hanging. Told you. What are we gonna are do? Truth? I gotta get it to Mia and Chastity. She got us a meeting at Red Bull. They're really, really excited. Shauna, are you dumb? Why would this man who wants to manage you be okay with you talking to a who wants to manage you? What are you doing? Didn't you just have a conversation with him saying, yeah, I'm gonna work with you if you get us a deal? It's like, I know you heard this because you said it. I'm gonna be honest with you. What was that? You take that deal, it's no party record. I knew he was gonna say that. That's why you oh, get the that record first. On oh, that goddamn plan, Shauna! Also, Fight. hang up the phone. You need me. I'm the fucking artist. Who the fuck are you yelling at right now? Shauna, 
You need to demand some respect. Even you sitting down right there when this man yelled at you is giving child. And he knows that he can continue to do this to you because you constantly let him know, I don't know what the f I'm doing. Please, please help me. You need to and let your balls drop to figure this out. I know. Real shit. Okay. I man. feel like this is a parent and a child conversation right now. Or y'all go with Chastity and her so fucking Red Bull. Now you threaten him. You know, normally I love how real this show is, but Shorty was just laying up with Maurice. She got a white beater and a bra on. You f with a bra? That's question number two. Is y'all f with bras on? Come on, Costco sheet cake. She said, you ain't have to bring a gift. I know you broke too. Also, these are the best parties, y'all. I don't care. Look at the lemonade. Also, shout out to Issa. American Fiction? You guys saw it? No? Okay. Is it in theaters? December. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, every time I kept asking her about some money, she kept talking about female empowerment. That's very real. As much as we talk about, oh, we believe in chastity, we like this whole female thing and working with everybody who's a woman, you're not giving me the dollar amount behind this. You're not just going to get me off of the statements that you make. The money got to also follow. It doesn't necessarily have to be as high, but you're not going to undercut me, especially after being undercut significantly from being on that tour. Come with it or not at all. I don't trust nothing that nigga say. Us neither. Chastity got the gift in the car. You saw that? This is family. Also, small details. And I don't know if it was Kid Fury's episode, but I appreciate these moments, y'all. Melissa, a young girl, had a little astronaut toy and she came in and then she was joking with Lamont in another episode about like flying to space. Mia tried to come in. And then in the back of the party, you see the astronaut helmet. I love that, y'all. We typically think astronaut male outside of the movie that Taraji did. Also, shout out to Taraji. Get your money. We see you. Viola also talked about that. We see y'all. But I love that they have made something that's typically male and shown it to these women, uh, shown it to this young girl. What is that movie? With all the mathematicians that were astronauts? That. I love that for us. Was that in Hidden Figures? Where do they be flying the plane? I mean, the... the what are those called? The rockets and sh Don't that be like in Florida somewhere? I, I don't know. Don't play with it, Lil Lola. Also, Chassie, you gotta stop with this car. She double called her. I ain't giving out no. Are you dumb? Chastity realizes she was right there and is about to lose it again. And we always go back and forth, y'all. I always talk about this because <laughs> y'all know my play. Like I was there, hold back. So me scratching to get there, you don't never want to let that shit go. Once you realize that that shit has gone and you, you realize what life was again, you said, nah, once I get that, I'm never going back. Chastity said, yo, I had this group. We had something good. Francois came and took that shit from me. Now I'm about to re-up and bring something new to them. I'm never going to let nobody else take that. And she almost fucking had it. I feel you. That lace girl. Come on. Look at her, got the Stella. Oh no, Shorty is not at the party. Hold the f up. Is this a joint party that we are throwing for our daughter together? Don't make it sound like it's a joint party now because I asked you to pay for that little bouncy house either. Are we inviting all the... <laughs> See, this is where I think it's messy. Cause now Lamont is doing this cause he knows that he wants to throw this joint in her face cause he's mad at her. I don't like this. And now I don't like it for shorty. What's her name? Lulu's mom. What is your name? I'm sad that you're involved in this because this is none of your, this is not your fault. I, it's kind of not your fault because Lamont told you that it's okay. But then it kind of is your fault because you know shorty. You didn't have to fuck if you know the moms already. Did you know them when they were together? I don't like that. But she's also under the impression that it's okay. Why the fuck she bought cake pops. To my daughter party? You see how upset she got over some, the fact that she brought dessert? Like, that's a good thing. Any other instance, you'd be like, thank you for bringing the cake pops. Also, if they're like quinoa or like vegan, you. Yeah, watch your mouth, friend. See, me, me ready to fight anything. This is the point where you just gotta support your girl and say, I got you. I ask if want to. Mm -hmm. That's my kind of friend. Yeah, say the word, sis. Why is Lulu here? Why is Lulu here? I don't even like her. Why is Lulu here? Ooh! She says she didn't want her at her party. You be passing out them little raisin boxes to the kids. <laughs> yeah, uh, you remember. I remember because we've been around each other before. It's crazy that we done did PTA type shit together and now you f my man. That's crazy. Of course I remember. She copied me. No, I didn't. Get shorty out of here. I'm good. Uh-uh. Mom, what's the entertainment? I'm worried. 
Don't kiss her at the party? Right when I walk away? Also, Lamont, you didn't even introduce them? As the joints you f***ing? Look at this. Why are you still alive? Take care of the plants and shit. Maurice would be a plant dad. Well, please stop calling that shit a fucking party, bruh. Damn, Maurice. 15 months is crazy for him. He got going a little stronger. Break that shit. You can't have the f***ing Duke starting five going to jail. Come, come the back out, too. No, you didn't. I just hope I made the right decision, bro. Like, is that him crying? Isn't it crazy how the two niggas who also did the crime with you are over there just hugging you like everything's okay? Okay, here we go, Maurice. My bad, my phone bugging, but come through. All good? I'm about to leave in a minute. What should I bring? Also, why you smell good like that? Grow up. Being with him, you are over here making songs Damn. and videos. She went online to talk about him? Not this she too. So many <laughs> did Gat steal my mama's bracelet too? Jonica, it's right there. Out him, girl. Tired. Out him. Yo, Callie, me. that's me. Popcorn. I was there. I was, I was with Lord AK when it happened. So. Damn. Now they gonna think you were part of it. He gonna spin this because remember, nobody knows how he caught on fire. You were the only one there. Gat, his best friend, is gonna spin it some other way, girl. Don't play. Why is it at the end of the night, all the adults usually just get in a bouncy house and sit like this? And Kiki? Smoke weed and make beats. Zoe Kravitz ass is out of there, okay? I'm done. <laughs> Y'all do work real well together. Okay. <laughs> Y'all love to rewrite history. I love the representation of the two different types of women that you have in your corner, right? You have the bitch like, yo, f they don't never give him another chance. Remember what he did 17 and a half years ago? You always got that one friend. And then you got the other friend like, oh, well, things could work out if you wanted to. And oh, it is your fault. You always gonna have those different perspectives. Mia, what you gonna do? Actually, I don't know if you have a choice here, Mia. The choice, look, the choice is right there. Lulu mom is the choice. Sorry. Girl, I know you're not talking. Also, look at them, they got in line. But I know you're not talking. Are we Nikki Beaching it out? What is this? What are you doing here? Yeah, why are you dodging my calls? Why does shit look like this now? I thought we were gonna win at the end. Damn, yo. She played Chastity. But I think Red Bull is the best opportunity for them. That's right, Chastity. What's going on here? Why are they? Why do they have that face? What's going on that they know something? I'm so confused. What did Chastity do? They know that she's a pimp? Mm. Cause she changed quick. Female artists have the most loyal fan base. The gays and the girls. Gays and the girls. She want them, she know. Why did you just out this like that? Win, She's smart yeah, though. Chastity, I love this. Shouts to you. You didn't give up. As much as these bitches been pushing you aside, you didn't give up. I like this. I hope it works out. Oh, also, that, that bitch, y'all. Is this homie the clown? What's happening right now? All my queens people. What's that clown? The clown that you call for your holiday parties. Go, baby. Go, hey, go, Melissa. Maurice is I'm calling her right now. Artists. See? Or rapper. She what was she with him. She was nothing more than a groupie. An obsessed fan who was all up in AK's face every time I saw I told her. you, girl, he now, gonna spin she this. She was, and you was the last one to talk to See? Him, to make AK Shauna, you don't be thinking. I told you this the day that it happened, y'all. Not DD for L Melissa. If Melissa and this joint little Lulu battle. She really hit her? And they gonna say it's on purpose. See, you putting the child up to your arguments. Uh -huh. uh, Why we got a twerk contest at the little kids park? Oh, this is how you make a moment. Nigga, no, I just. Nigga, no. He leading her astray, cause this type of shit right here, capitalizing off of this moment is fucking. It, that's just finite. You're not gonna have lasting moments where you're gonna be arguing with Gat like that. One, you don't want that to be your story where you're always arguing with somebody online. And then two. How long can this go with, oh, you were there with Lord AK and now you're gonna be the fucking burner girl who fucking lit this man on fire. You don't, you don't want this. But also, I don't know if the Red Bull deal is actually happening, so you might need something temporarily. Cause Gat's whole story was Come just on, all we needed was one. <laughs> She's so corny. <laughs> this is what you need, but you notice, you notice who the people in her corner are, right? It's women. This is aligned more with what Chastity wants to do, not what this Francois wants you to do. Come on, Shauna. Get with us. Okay, can you call Maurice back now? This nigga going to jail. 
You not gonna show up for him on his last day? Mia, Mia, you have to look at the shit, Mia. Mia is dealing with her own shit. Oh, wait, Chastity. Why is it always Mia that's like, oh, wait, Chastity? The fuck? She said that shit before season. That's literally how last she season ended. Us, that's the point of winning if you ain't doing it with your people. What's good is first class if my can't sit? Yeah, but you been ignoring me. Also, I love this little outfit you got. You know how I'm nasty. I had the whole company on board and excited. You gotta relay that information to me. This is gonna work. <gasps> Professionally or otherwise. Ooh. Where did you get that little suit from? It's like a flowy blouse, but sweatsuit. Chastity, we want you to win though. How are you not winning right now? Also, don't tell Francois no. And then tell Chastity yes, but you ain't got no deal over there. And I miss you. Mm -mm. Oh, you miss me now? Cause you need me? He gonna be like, nah. Congratulations, but I'm good. Come on, this is a record deal. Damn. This shit, all that ghetto fuck, I ain't with I told you this is gonna make him think he better than other people. Lamont, I'm concerned. He looked up and down. You saw that? Really. It's the nails, the outfit from Fashion Nova, yeah. and the little fluffy thing on your keys. <laughs> Shauna never showed up. Did he never go? Damn. You ain't shit. You never showed up, sis. Where you at? Somebody about to die. Why they around the corner like this? On the fucking shade room? You not gonna go to this man's going away party? He about to be there for 15 months. You couldn't give him 30 minutes because you want to be online? This You selfish, Shauna. You selfish with Mia. You selfish with Chastity. And you selfish with this who you said you want to be with and you love and you miss and all of this? You don't know how to love. This is what I'm telling you. People always be like, oh, where did you learn how to love? Like, give me examples of marriages and healthy marriages that you've seen, even if it's not from your life. Like, it's always be like, oh, the Cosby show. Shauna, where have you learned how to be a friend? Because you failing in all of these aspects. Yup, throw that bitch away too. But also, don't throw her away until month 16 because I need money in my books. Oh, she got to disappoint them and tell them it ain't coming through. What's Shauna wearing? Y'all in these ass shirts and outfits for her. I didn't burn a bridge. But? The deal is that Vincent ain't ever gained any new orders. Wait, this is true? We decided to keep working with Francois. What? Mia looking like I didn't choose this. We love you. And we appreciate you getting us to this point, but that's fucked up, y'all. That's that fucked first up. Deal scene, I'm sorry. You sorry? sorry? That's it? My whole life? And you just sorry. Come on, tell them everything. You know what I had to do to get your song in the club? Do you know what I stopped in my car? Do you know I had to pimp fucking holes and pay for this? And I had, steal, I had to fucking steal from this man, break windows and bust car windows open so that I can get money for y'all to actually have hotels and not sleep in this fucking nasty, stank, moist ass motel? Y'all don't even know. Fuck you, Shauna. I've been here. That's St. Louis. I've been here. I love that Chastity don't take no for an answer. Most niggas will be like, okay. You can't even look at her. That's disgusting. Tell them all. And y'all do this to me? Oh my God, Johnny, you about to cry? The versatility. Oh my, look at the tear. She got the fucking Denzel down. Yeah, Mia, you feel like shit. You should. Damn, yo. She going back to the block with the hoes? What? This Maurice? He fucking another bitch right now. Fuck her. Just playing. He about to check himself in right now and Shorty hasn't seen him? And Chastity on her uncle's fucking couch watching it with the holes on the corner. Can y'all imagine being that fucking close, y'all? Oh, Maurice, I thought you was short. Look at you. These bitches. This can't be how it ends. Chastity working with Gat? Running rampant. And yeah. I'm gonna expose all of them. His name is Francois. And make sure to check out our new single, BBW. These yeah. bitches! Y'all are suckers! I hate when I like songs like this. Look at it. What are y'all wearing? Shauna, this ain't even you. Why do you have a tool belt on my nigga? Why are you licking a fucking hammer? A bad bitch working. So we're construction. Shauna, this is what you fought against your entire first season. 
Really, Shauna? Yeah. Me got all that ass, girl. Stop that. All right, who, who wrote this one? Directed by Calmatic. I don't know who that is. Written by Issa. Okay. Listen, I don't like this. That's all I'm gonna say right now. I don't fucking like this. I do like that Chastity said, you know what? Oh, y'all don't want me? Facts. I'm a link up. You know what this is? An enemy of my, no, an enemy of my, no, a friend of my enemy is, whatever that shit is, that's what this is. Chastity said, oh, y'all not fucking with me? Oh, y'all don't with Gat either? Guess what? I'm gonna go fuck with him. And I know y'all whole shit, so I'm gonna out everything. I know all the moves you're gonna take. I know Francois is so fucking easy. He's gonna do this because he's gonna pull that. And now I'm gonna bring y'all down. This is unfortunate because this whole time I'm like, oh, who's her enemy? Like everybody has to have like one antagonist, right? We know Mia now got Lamont. Shauna used to have Maurice and Jean, but that is gonna, Jean, look at me. Like I know this man, <laughs> Maurice and Stanley. But now he's in jail. So now they have Chastity. Wow. What the fuck are we gonna do next season? They have to come back next season and these just gotta be broke. <laughs> because this shit ain't gonna work out. It's no way you can sustain this career. That's not true. All the pussy rappers are some of my faves and they are have been around for a while. Though y'all starting to see like trickles fall off, right? I don't wanna call anyone out, but you know. Y'all heard some singles, they popped. Where's the rest of them? All right, y'all. This shit was good. This shit was good. I love me some rap shit. I told y'all that first season, I was like, I'm here because of Issa Rae. This season I was here because of me, cause this shit actually got good. I really wish the Lamont and the Courtney and the Mia, that whole situation, I wish that happened earlier in the season because I feel like it could have like ignited a lot of conversation around men and women messing around with friends and who's right and who's wrong. It would have given us like a lot of the conversation we got not that we want to compare this, but a lot of the buzz and the conversation we got in Insecure where both men and women watch the show, I feel like that could have made a lot more different types of people watch this. Though, when they did the Sway interview, the only people who called in were men. And they were like, I love this show. So maybe I'm wrong. Live your life. Okay, I asked all the questions. The new question, the last question I'm going to ask for this season. It's easy. What, what are we going to do next season? Where are we going next season? What's the plot? What's the theme? What's the line that we're going to have for next season? All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me for this entire season, but especially for this episode of Issa Rae's Rap Shit Season 2, Episode 8, the finale. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell because we will be continuing to do other recaps. I'm going to continue my sister's recap. I said I was going to pick up Potomac, but I don't know, y'all. Two shows of and season was a lot for me and I only feel like paying one editor at a time. So <laughs> I'll see y'all when I see you. Hopefully we get an announcement that this one is coming back and we will go from there. I love you guys and as always, please remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. Bye guys.